as I mentioned. There are two spill towers. Uh, they clear and decorate courts. They do not actually build a structure, a three-dimensional thing. The avenue bowers built two or four walls. I could not find any pictures of ones that had built the four wall bowers. Uh, they surround it with decorations. They find all sorts of colorful junk to throw around. And it's, it does not seem to be random the way that they decorate their bowers. <laughs> and the maypole bowers actually build a central pillar or a maypole to which they attach twigs and stuff. And some of the maypole species actually build a little roof over them. Uh, some of the bower roots paint their avenue walls by masticating plant material, carbon and saliva all together in their bills, spreading it on the walls. And sometimes they've been observed doing this by getting a little stick and playing with the end to make like a little brush to do it with. And as you will see here, they built some pretty interesting stuff. Now, you might say it's a stretch to include these as tools, but you are manipulating objects in the hand, foot, or mouth, in this case, actually, the beak, to gain some immediate benefit, which is to have lots of good-looking females come and uh, reproduce with you. So this is one that's uh, almost done. So those blue scraps eventually will end up inside there, placed in different ways that they think will, that the bird hopes will attract females. So the, the satin bower loves blue, and the satin bower has blue eyes, oddly enough. And they really seem to go for blue stuff, including Foster's beer can scraps. <laughs> and now, see, this one is not really a great picture, but the other, the other satin bower bird ones I got, they did have blue eyes. Uh, so here he's waiting for some females <laughs> to show off his dance moves, too. Now, this is actually a Vogelcock bower, and that has a root. And the bird actually did put all those berries there. And they didn't stick around long enough to see if, if those were to like try and fly the female with or, or if he put a lot of them just inside there. It looks like a lot of berries. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. and early explorers thought that these were built by kids as playhouses. Early Dutch explorers were like, wow, well, what are all these little houses for? And uh, they said, well, old, maybe a little kid could fit in here, but that's about <laughs> it. Little did, they <laughs> little did they know it was that freaking bird right Well, there. what's the scale? What size is uh, it? Uh, it's about this big. Hmm? Yeah, they're not very big, but um, it's pretty crazy that some of the bowers that they built, I mean, look at that. Yeah. They put that whole thing together. Yeah. They spend seven to nine, or seven to ten months of the year in some of the species just building their bowers, and it takes them seven to ten years <laughs> to learn how to do it good enough <laughs> to get any female. Wow. And the, the males actually, um, they form little collectives. And male bower birds that are too successful, a little gang of other males will come and they'll wreck their bower uh, <laughs> wow. if they're not around to defend it. Wow. When you're out foraging or something, you'll come back and be like, oh, hmm. and uh, that would suck. And then this one right here, I had to include that. Is that a male bower, <laughs> satin bower bird with the same punch? Uh, we do not, we do not <laughs> know. <laughs> yeah, aren't they beautiful? They're really, and there's 20 species of them in, in Australia and, and New Zealand, and they now know that they're found also in in parts of Indonesia that are essentially uninhabited, which can lead to some great studies of uh, how they transmit their meanings to offspring. And in the case of the bower birds, there it takes so long to learn how to make it decent bower that they teach related and unrelated uh, members of, so they teach the family, but they also teach unrelated yeah. other males. They, they don't mind if they come and watch your little workshop. Hmm. And they literally have, they'll have like five males and then like 20 uh, juveniles, and they'll all sit around and watch the older males make practice wow. bowers. That's an appeasement Is strategy for uh, Yeah, to keep them from begging or from wrecking theirs. Yeah. 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 Yeah, actually, that's a good point. And, and was that bower built by just one bird? Yeah, yeah. Uh, these are all literally built by one bird. I, I can see those, the, the smaller yeah, ones. Yeah, these are the easy, large ones. So this is going to select for IQ eventually. Yeah, <laughs> yep. Uh, exactly. Yeah, it's really hard to believe, but that they somehow get enough objects to prop up one stick and then start piling brush around it. And um, I couldn't find any good videos which is, that would have been really cool, but uh, we also have human hunting. 